Hi, I'd like to give you an overview for Le Chatelet's principle. Uh, Le Chatelet's principle, I'm going to read you the official definition and then unpack it for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the official definition. Here we go. A change in any of the factors that determine the equilibrium conditions of a system will cause the system to change in such a manner as to reduce or counteract the effect of that change. Wow, that's a mouthful. Here is the Mrs. Love's summation of it. If you stress a reaction, it takes it out of equilibrium. Guess what? It will always go back to equilibrium. So we can predict, all right, here's a stress. I know it's pulling it out of equilibrium. I can predict which way it will shift. Will it make more products or will it make more reactants to go back into equilibrium? Remember, equilibrium is going to be the most energetically favorable state and it's also going to require the least amount of energy. Um, so with, um, with that, you know that any system will always go to equilibrium. Now there are three stresses that we can look at. Um, you could change the temperature of a reaction, you can change the pressure, and remember directly um, involved with that is going to be volume. So um, volume and pressure, they are indirectly related as you increase pressure, decrease volume, and vice versa. So we can look at volume and see how that changes pressure. Keep that in your mind. Um, and you can also change the concentration. You change any of those and it is going to shift, the reaction will shift and go back into equilibrium. Um, now, why we're concerned with this? Well, we'll use this principle to tweak reactions to try and maximize, optimize the amount of products. Typically, in real life situations, if you have more products, you make more money. Um, so we will exploit this principle that you can tweak something and shift a system to go back into equilibrium. We just wanna do that so that it's going to make more products. So you will find videos on all three of these where we change each of those. Um, and then we can predict which way the system will shift to go back into equilibrium. And there's your overview on Le Chatelet's principle. Have a great day. If you need to watch these videos, look under the playlist for equilibrium lean think. Thanks.